Headline News Update. Okay, folks, Larry, excuse me, Larry Pesavento for TFNN. This is the chart that was in the newsletter this weekend, folks. If you remember, I was saying that the Dow had hit that 39,236 level, with the 618 being 39,232. So on Thursday and Friday, we have a caller calling in. Maybe nobody can see the charts. Uh-oh, I know what I forgot to do. I forgot to hit the live button. Okay, now we're live. Anyway, um, on those three days here, last uh, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, we were right at that 39,200, with the actual high being 39,236. And I said, this looks like an absolute monster cell signal being over this, the, uh, the solstice, the summer solstice and everything. This should be it. And boy, folks, uh, was I ever wrong. But let's take a look at what happened after that. First of all, I want to give a heartful thanks. Yesterday during the radio show, I said, would someone please tell me what the high on the Dow Jones Industrial Average Index, not the futures, was at that particular time. And he sent it back to me saying 39,565. Folks, if you don't believe this, go take a look at what the high was yesterday in the Dow Jones Industrial Average with the Dow up 400 points. It was 39,565 to the exact tick. And if you notice real closely in here, you're going to see what we call the old Gartley pattern, the A, B, C, D pattern stopping right here. Folks, this is a really big deal. And when you get it to the next part of the show here, I'm going to show you just how big a deal it really is. Maybe. And remember, it's always maybe in our business because we never know for sure. Remember the city, the famous city that Mark Douglas liked the most in all the United States was Fort Worth. Mark, how could you like Fort Worth? Because it's got the two letters that mean the most in trading. What's that, Mark? Fear and, oh dear, I forgot the second one. Fear and wondering. Fear and wondering. You never have to worry. Fear and worry. Fear and worry. That's what it was. Sorry. <laughs> like, okay, anyway, that's what we're watching here uh, today. Uh, Peter Lydes is on fi Financial. I I'll cover it when we come back, folks. We'll be right back. <laughs> 